Okay, so this is part three of uh, me checking out demos from Steam Next Fest 2023 February edition. So, got a few more. Uh, this has been fun so far, so I hope you are enjoying it. And if you're watching this video later, as always, thanks for clicking. Alright, so let's just get into it. Let me get the first one up. Sorry, chat. It is launching. Okay. So this first one is called Super 56. So we'll see if it picks up on it. Onion Soup Interactive. Does control the support, so let's just see. The Health City Express service is now arriving at Platform 1A. We thank you in advance for not talking loudly on your phone. Please have a wonderful day. Oh, this has got a weird vibe already. <laughs> Welcome to Hell. The time is 8.47 a.m. The current underworld temperature is 34 degrees, with an estimated high of 40 degrees Celsius. No, no. Hell City is maintained at a pleasant 20 degrees at all times. If this is your first visit to Hell, please be aware that heat-related illnesses are not covered by our travel insurance policy. What is this? This intro. Dude, there's a meat bag at the door. My meat bag subscription's here already? No, dude, it's an actual meat bag, like a human. Well, don't just stand there, little buddy. Come on in. What you got on your hands there, human? Huh, it's from the government. It says that this human is here on some kind of cultural exchange program. All right, Jack, you think you can come in here and tell us how to live, how to be cultured, do you? Sorry. I got a whole drawer full of napkins from Crunk and Cronuts. And Brones even entered a haiku competition last year, right, bro? Tell anyone about that and I'll eat ya. Well, they didn't even flinch. Nerves of steel and cultured? Human, you must help us beat 56 games crammed onto one glorious cartroid. Now, don't look so confused. Here, this is Super 56. I got it from my boy who works at GameStart, but, um, something. We've been trying to play it for ages, but Cronus only has his face in, so... Damn it, what about you, bro? Well, dude, I work at the box factory downtown, man, and you've been pushing a button all day. The absolute last thing you want to do is press another button when you get home. So yeah, he just doesn't press buttons outside of working hours. Enough talk. Let's load it up. Come on, human. Use those flashy digits of yours. A pentacube. <laughs> oh, okay. You're about to play super... Get in bed. Alright, playing a button. I only use the A button. Okay. What? 
until your profile is highlighted. Okay. Hold the A button to press it. Okay. Navigate this menu by pressing and holding A. We've given you 50 coins to spend on customizations. These will be visible to other players on the leaderboard and elsewhere in the game. Character Salmon? Okay, animals. Can be a bear. Go back. Because that's only with the uh, character A. Oh my god. Yeah, not that one. This one will do. Jared, apparently. Color. Pastel. Okay, name play it for I guess that's it. Yeah, look, let's just leave it for now. Ready? Yeah, button mashing. That's yep. Yeah. <laughs> hundred. Stage clear. I mean, is WarioWare any different? Next stage. Ready? Go. Oh. Okay. I see, I see, I see, I got this, I got this. Got it! Nice. <laughs> so, you know, this is a weird kind of WarioWare game. I'm all about it. Okay. Ready? Go! What? Oh, I see. It's like a breakout. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hey, Gahami, what's up? This way. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? This is a miss. This is a miss. Okay, I've lost a life. Yeah, that one was a little clunky. Next stage. What on earth? Wait, but how do I don't know? Okay. What? <laughs> but there's no steering. Like if, if you only play this with. Okay, hang on, hang on. What the heck is it? There's, there's no steering in this, it just said you can only press the A button. Oh, don't get that one. <laughs> Alright, off to a great start. Oh no, I, I'm the ball collector, I see. I see. I'm an idiot. Oh, there's a dog at the bottom! <laughs> oh my god, I have to beat the dog too. No, right! 
I thought I was playing tennis. Game is insane. Ready? Go! What? Oh no. Okay, got it, got it. How do I grab the points? Okay, clearly I have to already press the button. Grab the coins, grab the coins! <laughs> Didn't want to grab the coins. What is this character model? Alright, whatever, whatever. This one sucks. I don't like this one. Oh, no. I was never good at that minigame. Okay, fine. Ready? Go! What? Oh. Really? But I can't control how fast it does it. It's just like, hold the button. What do you mean it's not gonna make it? I had no control over that. That was just like a pump feel filling up that. <laughs> that that's not fair. That's the other one. This makes no sense. This, ma this absolutely makes no sense. <laughs> God. Alright, well. That's it. That's a game over. Does this really just have to be a one button game? I mean, I guess that that's the that's the gimmick here. Uh, I, I clearly wasn't prepared for this game. Okay. 
Oh yeah, no, this, this game is as weird as it seems. I don't want to look at my career. These are stages available. Okay. I want to play again. Oh. I don't want to care about your leaderboard. Thank you. Uh, start game. Okay. I'm gonna do better this time. What is that? It's exactly what it looks like. If I had an answer to that question, I would give it. Jared, not Mario. Okay, next stage. Ready? Go! No, Jared from, from Subway. I'm not even going to comment on what this character model is supposed to be. <laughs> what do you mean that wasn't it? 
Okay, I got the coins this time, though. I got more coins this time. I survived. I survived. I think I did worse. Yeah, I did worse. Like this one, I feel like you need to know the map in advance, which is like a tall order. Oh, no, there I go. So stupid. Nice. Near four liters. But why did I get messed up on that one? That one gave me like an unrealistic one last time. Okay. Ready? Go! Oh, look at that shot. Nice. Okay, 
Yeah. Okay, we're we'll gonna get further this time. We haven't seen the stage yet. Ready? Go! was just like a quick opener I think so <laughs> it, it, it's interesting this is a uh, super 56 it looks strange enough it looked warrior warrior wear like it was a cool cool little one to open it up with all right I don't want to redo them again it's cool all right let's uh let's move to the next one Something not as strange, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. Alright. So, just waiting for it to load. Okay. So this one's called Pixelshire, and uh, as it says on screen, it's an alpha demo, so it is very early on. Okay. I mean, you can probably guess what kind of game this is. Take the guidebook, shop. Sure. Open the guidebook. Oh, that's a lot of text. This book will guide you through your first steps and give you advice throughout your journey. So don't forget to check in every now and then. On the left, you'll see each chapter. However, you also notice most of them are locked for now. Sometimes completing a chapter will earn your reward. And these will appear in the box to the right side of the guidebook. Take this apple to restore some lost HP. To eat the apple, right click on it in your bag. Okay. Move to the guide panel. Move guide panel. What? You can move it. I'm not sure what it means by move guide panel. The, that? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Okay. God side of me, Captain Farrell. That seemed unnecessary. The vast you land lover. How are you feeling? Last night was pretty rough. You got caught up in a pretty nasty storm out there. Your boat crashed on the nearby docks. I guess you don't remember a thing. I found you unconscious this morning here on the beach. You must have hit your head. By the way, do you want some of my famous fish stew? It should help that headache disappear. Ignore the smell. It tastes better than it smells, I promise. So, about that boat you came in last night. It'd be in terrible shape. I don't think you can use it as it be for now. Or you can, actually, for firewood. Anyway, you need a place to stay, kid. Go north and speak with Ava. She be the one with the blue hair. You can't miss her. You'd probably find her near Town Hall. She be the mayor of this place. You can also check your magic compass if you need help finding someone. Now, where be my other shoe? Okay, well. Is this a bit qui quiet? Or is it just me? Like, is the volume to this game, like, a bit quiet? That might- I think that's a bit better. Okay. By the way, we have a guest room in the town hall. Okay, but like... I'll ignore the question mark for now. Follow the compass. So I do like these kind of games, so I figured, hey, let's let's check them out. How are you feeling better? I'm Ava, by the way. I'm the mayor of Pixelshire, although there aren't that many citizens at the moment. Captain Farrell told me he found you unconscious this morning at the beach. I'm so glad you're okay. We're trying our best to build a new community, but sadly things aren't going very well. We came here as a group of refugees from... Alberet in search of something better. Have you heard of it? It's a fancy far fancy. It's a faraway continent deep past the Sonora Ocean. I'm really tired by the way. I've had a really long day. Alberet was once a beautiful and prosperous continent, but anyways, enough of that for now. You'll need a place to stay if you want to join us. To make a house, we'll need a lot of wood, which we can't gather ourselves. Our logger Jack could help you with that, but he didn't come back last night. He went out to explore the forest to the west, over the stone bridge, to find better quality wood. He's still out there. Hope he's alright. Hey, could you go help Margarita with her crops? It's about time for the harvest, so she may need a helping hand. She's a lovely girl with blonde hair. You can't miss her. I'll see you later. I need to speak about Valerie about Jack. I mean... I have a question that I just thought of. I don't know if anyone can answer it, but, like... Someone who's colorblind, would they have a problem with, like, the description being find the person with blue hair? Wait, it says open the bag. Bag. Drink the potion. Oh, that's the bag. How do I drink it? Right click, okay, there we go. I don't know what the, like, the top left represents. Guess we'll find out. Hey, what's your name? I'm Margarita. Nice to meet you. I'm an agronomist. Agro? Agronomist. I can help you with your farming needs if you like. Let's go over the basics. In order to farm, you'll need to cultivate the ground for her. The ground needs to have grass in it. You can't cultivate roads or water. You'll then need to plant seeds into the cultivated ground and water them daily. Each type of seed has its own growing season. Here, I will give you a hoe as a gift to start with, but you will also need a water can 
and some plants. Seeds to plant. I can sell you the rest of those. Can you also help me with harvesting some red juicy tomatoes? Okay. Open Margarita's notebook. Right click on her. Okay. Take Margarita's quest from the quest tab. Hot. And then, what? Like, just. Yep. Okay, accept. Buy and equip from the shop tab. Okay. Watering can. Okay, and then equipping. Okay. Buy some tomato seeds from the shop tab. Good job. Now go find an empty spot and hoe the ground. Plant the seeds and don't forget to water them. Seeds don't grow without water. After that, do me a favor and harvest some of my tomatoes. I have already planted three of them. They should be ready now. Everything about this game seems clunky. I mean, it is like alpha, so I'm not going to judge it too much. But, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of parts of me that um, are already thinking how the UI can be better. <laughs> That's what I do for a living, but you know. Okay. And then create some farmland. I guess anywhere. Does it matter? Like, am I just, just gonna create some farmland anywhere? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. I'm not sure how I did that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's sound effect. It sounds like slime. <laughs> okay. Alright, so how do I... Okay, so you just dra- it's a drag and drop to plant, which, hmm... Okay. And then water it, that's... Harvest tomatoes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's- that's straightforward. Complete. She went in here, didn't she? Yeah. Okay. Wow, you did great. Master farming in the master farmer in the making. Those tomatoes will do a tasty sauce for my pasta. Speak with you later then. Yeah, I mean, I think this whole thing of having to open a backpack like this. I think this is a case of they maybe didn't want to do what Stardew did just because to be different. But I think when it comes to UI, there's nothing wrong with taking an existing UI and kind of using it because... There's no reason to reinvent the wheel sometimes. At least it has jiggle physics. Jiggle physics? What had jiggle physics? I think it, like, it looks visually nice, but talk to Ava. And again, yeah, it's like very, very early alpha, so, you know. Not judging it. Hey, can you help? Jack is still missing. Valerie searched the east area, but she didn't find anything. She came back hurt, but she'll be okay. I don't want to ask about it. She seemed pretty angry. 
The NPC portrait had jiggle physics? What? Whose? The rest of us are not trained to use any kind of weapon. You had a sword when we found you by the beach. Hope you remember how to use it. Valerie has the sword. I believe she said something about repairing it. Please find her and help us find Jack. The house is to the east of here. I know I'm asking a lot. I'll continue to work on your house blueprint while you're gone. Good luck. The blonde had jiggle physics. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You're right. Okay. Well, can't unsee that now. Why? I wonder why, like... Seems unnecessary. Let's see if they're consistent. I'm gonna be paying attention if everyone has jiggle physics. Hey, you hold it. Who goes there? Ah, it's you, the new face. I'm Valerie, the warrior around here. I already know about Jack. Unfortunately, I can't leave the settlement unguarded and roam around looking for him. You look like someone who can handle themselves. There are only some slimes in the West. They should be easy enough to defeat in combat. I repaired the sword we found you with. You might need it to defend yourself. Here, take it. Do you remember how to use it? Equip the sword to the weapon slot first. Then, you do know how to use it, don't you? Stick him with the pointy end, left click, and you can also dodge a space. Should be easy enough to handle. Try it on the dummy near the fountain. Remember to use a health potion if you're at low health. Your sword can also be used to cut down grass if you need to. Good luck out there. I mean, I, I assume these are all like indicators of different things, but like, I, for now, I don't know what that means. The top corners. There's like all these bars and I'm hovering over them and they don't give any information as to what it represents. Again, very early alpha footage. I'm sure it's going to get fixed, but just something of note to like a new player. Like, I feel like that should be the first thing represented, is like, let the player discover what things mean without having to read an instruction manual. Like, tooltips are very useful. Where's the dummy near the fountain? I don't see a dummy. Can I pet Doggo? I can't pet the Doggo. Before final release, Doggo should be something you can pet. I don't see a dummy, unless I'm blind. Oh no, this is the dummy. Okay. What? Okay, hold on. It's, uh... Q, and then sword. Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, now past the bridge to the west. Okay. West. Probably like further down. <laughs> These sound effects. Okay. Kill a slime. 
Okay. Sir, you are not a slime. Sir. Sir, you are not a slime. Sir. Sir. I mean, I, I feel like... I feel like I should complete the quest now, because a slime would probably be easier to kill than a, whatever that was. HP, mana, stamina, hunger. Oh, no. Uh, all right. Here's the thing about hunger in games. I'm like... I think it it's a mechanic that I don't I don't particularly like. You you are just guessing, but I think you might be right. So I'm gonna react to the thought of like st uh, hunger being in a game. I think in some why isn't this attacking? I think in some cases it makes sense, right? Like where it's a survival game, but for something like this, I don't want hunger in a game like this. Like, I just want to kick back and chill, and I don't want something, like, real life seeping in too much into this. And I feel like it's just a bit of micromanagement that is so unnecessary for the player to have to do. That's my opinion on it. Not everyone's going to agree with it, but... I don't particularly enjoy uh, hunger systems. Unless it's in a game where it's, like... Survival is the only thing you're supposed to be doing, right? Something like Don't Starve, where it's like, yeah, okay, it makes sense for a game like that to have a hunger system. But for something like this, I would rather it didn't have it. Well, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat. That's HP, apparently. So I'm not I didn't see any of the other bars go up, so. I don't think I have a pickaxe. Alright, anyway. I think the funny thing is, like, I still haven't run into a slime yet. There's, there we go. This wheel is, is different, and it's going to take some getting used to. saying it's necessarily bad at the moment. You hear a man shouting in the distance. Help, someone. Okay, fine, Jack. You, human! Does this, uh, troll have jiggle physics? What? No, I'm not a sick elf, I'm a goblin, you tin head. Alright, goblin. Does this goblin have jiggle physics? Anyway, I forgot what I wanted to say. Ah, these lions are ours. You and your people should leave this place. Consider this your last warning. Believe me, you don't want to mess with us and our lord. Ah, uh, I mean, us. Forget about our... Forget about the lord. And as far as that red-haired woman and her fancy sword moves, she can't protect you people forever. Be gone or face our wrath? Yeah, our wrath, I guess. You're warned. Hey, over here. You help the man onto his feet. Big Jack, do you have jiggle physics? I can't tell. Oh, I don't know who you are, but thanks for your help. Some little green guys came out of nowhere and attacked me. A strange fog surrounded them. Before I knew it, they'd knocked me unconscious. They might have been goblins, but I'm not sure. I don't know what they were after. 
They've come a long way from the Black Mountain. That place gives me the creeps. We can talk more about that later. We're not safe here. Let's get back to the village and regroup before anything else happens. Speak to me, right click, and push the follow button when you're ready to leave. Follow. Follow. Let's do it. Chop, chop. Oh, yeah. He's following me. Okay, I see. Also, don't think I didn't see what they did there with the pun. Chop, chop. A lumberjack saying chop, chop. Top comedy! We're back. Safe. Thanks again for the help. Home sweet home. Speaking of home, do you have a house here in Pixelshire? I can help you build one. You'll have to get a blueprint from Ava first. As the mayor, she'll have to approve it and whatnot. We'll speak later about that. Only the blonde is busty enough for the jiggle. I guess so. But why do they do that? Like the basically the kind of like, you know, crouching down ever so slightly. When you have a conversation with someone, they don't like go up and down. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy Jack is okay. Okay, let's get you settled in. I have the blueprint for your first house or already it's more of a tent than an actual house but you'll have to upgrade it later Jeez, i hope you like it um please speak with jack he'll help you gather the rest of the materials and make a workbench you will also need to find bron if you need any metal for upgrades he is usually in the mines to the north no notification what do you mean in discord okay what's going on here did the bot break again yeah, all right. Noted. I'll look into it later. I mean, it is connected. So why didn't it do it? I got the feeling... No, it is online. Weird. I have no idea. I'll look into it later. Sometimes... Streamlabs just breaks, and there's nothing. Um, so we gotta speak with Jack, right? Speak with Jack. How am I today? I'm doing alright, just a bit tired. I went to, like, a family thing, so... I'm usually drained after them, because it means, like, getting up early, and then going over there, spending the day, and then... Coming back, it's just always... You get home and you're tired, but... I figured I'd, uh, wrap up the collection of demos I've been checking out, so. What's the plan for tonight? I'm not sure I'm gonna do Animal Crossing. We'll see how I'm feeling. Like, I am, I am a bit wrecked. It depends what time the demos wrap up. Like, I think I'm kind of keen to just get into bed and maybe... Watch some One Piece, because I've been watching that, and just sleep. <laughs> but how about you, Nick? How's things? Wait. Why is this compass... Okay. Now it suddenly just goes... No, no, that's why, sorry. Um... Yeah, it's, it's early alpha, don't worry. Something went wrong there, clearly. Functional compass, nah, not on the list of priorities. NPCs with jiggle physics when they have boobs. The highest of priorities. Oh, I see, I see what's happened. Okay. So when he goes in the house, I think this is the explanation. He went in the house and now suddenly it's telling me to go down that way. I think the room, in terms of map data, 
for this house is like somewhere off screen. So the compass is wrong. We'll need a lot of planks to build your house, but I can help you with that. I am a lumber lumberjack after all. Next, you need to place a workbench down in order to transform wood into planks. Oh, I nearly forgot. You can't chop down trees with your bare hands. Here, take this wooden axe. It's simple, but it'll do the job for now. Just stand next to a tree and yeah, yeah, okay. After that, you'll need to place a workbench in order to transform the wood into planks. Let me know if you need any help. Um, I think a lot of people would be like, yes, you can punch a tree if you're playing Minecraft. Do I have to be in the forest or can it be here? Oh, I just noticed something. The tools have durability. Mmm. I mean, they have durability in Animal Crossing. I guess we'll see how often you have to replace them. But that's like another system that... It has to be done right. I guess this is more on the side of survival than chill farming. Oh, it says chop a green leaf tree. Get the workbench from the guidebook. Claim? Okay. Place the workbench on a clear area. Craft a plank. A uh, wooden plank. Alright. Craft. Okay. Speak with Ava. A single wooden plank. Okay. But, but, I need to talk to her. I need to talk to her. Okay. Doing good, chilling after lunch, nice. Okay, well, this seems like a little bit of an oversight. Uh, <laughs> do I just have to wait? I guess I was focusing too much on the jiggle physics that time has passed and now it's night time and I have to just spend the evening in the wilderness. I love that I'm speaking to the door. Uh, alright. I mean, out of spite, I could just chop down every single tree in this town. But I don't think the tool will last long enough. Okay, let me see. Can I pick up... Can I... Can I pick it up once it's down? Doesn't look like it. I'm trying to press E as well to interact with it. It just doesn't work. Yeah, I mean... Don't judge this one too harshly. Again, it's like... Very, very early alpha. So I think this is just kind of just to get people to play and test the game and just give feedback, so. 
I think the art style is nice. I mean, I'm always into finding more of these kind of games, so I figured it was worth a look. Even though it might be, like, ages away. Just, uh, yeah. Jiggle physics greater than petting the dog. You know what? You're right. They prioritize the jiggle physics on that portrait more than just having a simple text dialogue. You don't even have to have an animation. Just allow the player to walk up to the dog, right-click it, have the option say, pet the dog, and then a text box just appears and said, you pet the dog. That's it. It's like such a minor thing and it, it makes people so happy. I mean, not that, not that boobs don't make people happy. It's just, I feel like the dog is more universal, you know? <laughs> I, I can't, like, I can't talk to her. Alright. Well, I may have I may have hit a brick wall here, chat. Which uh okay. There was a tent, wasn't there? Hang on. They did mention the tent, but like Maybe I can find somewhere to sleep. Is there a map? There's no map. What's G? Crafting Okay. I think, yeah, this is a lot of... Pretty big icons. Oh, well, we can take comfort in the... The jiggle physics of Margarita. Why are they a thing? Like... <laughs> that was a decision made. <laughs> <laughs> it was a decision made here for this to be a thing. <laughs> I can't unsee it now. It's like ruining the innocent ambience this game is setting with the music. I hope she doesn't run, like, the bar or anything, because that, that's, like, just going to be so typical. Uh, yeah, so... I either wait till morning, or, uh... We move on. I don't know, what are you feeling? I don't think there's anything I can do about this. The captain's still up. Can I stay here, captain? Guess where I'm in the town? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm an idiot. There's a guest room in the town hall, which I guess that's where I should stay. There is a bed icon. Okay, I think I would recommend, like, going Stardew style on this one, where you just walk into the bed and it asks you if you want to sleep. But okay, there we go. Alright, it's a new day. I think orange represents energy by the looks of it. Oh my god, they're still not outside! It's morning, they're still not outside. I uh, just remembered, you can't build at night, it's too dangerous in the- It's not nighttime. what do you mean? So if you don't have a house by nighttime, you should come and spend the night in our guest room, it's a door to the right. The rest of the villagers will do the same if they don't- Oh no, hang on, also you can't demolish buildings at night. Speaking of which, here, take this wooden hammer. 
It'll help you deconstruct whatever you think is in the wrong place. Simply go to the structure and hit it. Okay. Floor like stone pavement, specifically click to deconstruct them. Have fun with that. Okay. Find the guest house. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're sleeping again. Cool. Yeah, that was a that was a little bit of an oversight that one. Talk with Jack. We're progressing though. Where does Jack? Wait, I think this is the problem. I think this is doing that thing again where it's like glitched. He could be in his house, or he is genuinely, like, in the southeast. Yep, he's in his house. Okay. Wait, what? Or is he? No. I mean, I feel like this could have... I understand it's an alpha. But... There's something I, I believe in, is that... You only make a first impression once. I think it's... This is one of these cases where it probably could have used, like, just a little bit more work. Not from a visual perspective... Just more of, uh, making sure the demo was, like, completely cohesive. Good day. You did great with cutting those trees down and crafting the planks. Unfortunately, I can't help you with the rest of the materials, so I'm out of ores. Yeah, now comes the tricky part. You'll need to speak with that grumpy old miner, Bron. He spends all of his time in that dark mine up north. You'll find the entrance near the waterfall. Good luck with him. I mean, it could just be one person developing this as well. That's why I'm like... I'm open-minded about it, but I, I will have to, like, point it out. It's just... I've already had, like, a, a couple of, uh... Confusing circumstances. See, like, right now, the compass doesn't work. It's like, enter the mines, but... This isn't on anymore. And it... Yeah. Minor thing. I guess because it's not tracking a character. Boy, who are you? You ain't gonna take any gold from me, are you, or thief? What? Oh, you're the new guy. The pickaxe has jiggle physics, chat. Well, that doesn't change much. Keep your hands in your pockets. I'm Bron Thunderbeard, and I'm the town miner. If you want some stone, and copper to build a house, you'll need to mine it yourself. So, wait, it's not so odd. Stand next, oh, I, I can't read this. <laughs> I get it, it's flavor text, but. Now this is a real problem, there's something lurking inside this cave, I don't wanna go too deep. Okay, but maybe you can. Put that fancy sword of yours to good use if you find anything strange. Stick to mining copper if you don't think you can mine or just yet. But maybe I could teach you how if you help me with some things. Good luck. Remember to pick up your pickaxe and to equip it. I don't think accents should be conveyed in text. That's just a personal thing. Equip the pickaxe. Okay. Oh, right. I need to do that. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, this isn't obvious that... <laughs> As far as I was concerned there, I thought I had a pickaxe equipped, but it wasn't obvious that I didn't. Okay, extract copper. I'm guessing this is copper. Okay. Craft a furnace. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. 
crafted. Not enough materials. We're already crafting. What? Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I see. I need another plank, and I need stone. So, craft. I need to be close to an appropriate bench. <sighs> okay. Let me get more stone. I guess I have to go outside. Inventory is already full. Yeah, I may need to make one of these. That's way too slow. That is. This isn't like an RTS. Like, not even Animal Crossing does it that slowly. So you have to click it. Okay. It's a little clunky. There's no, like, drag and drop like this. Again, very early on. So they're only supporting, like, click and then drop. Like this. Okay. Did I put stone away? I think I put stone away by accident. Yeah, put it back. I guess I have different recipes for the planks. Well, this could probably be condensed into like one and it accepts any input. But, you know, that's like a an attention to detail thing. I need wood. Okay. Wrong type of wood. A specific kind of wood. I know, I know. This is a case of, like, less is more. Or, if you want to have different kinds of wood, I think for the, the most basic crafting recipe, it should accept any kind of wood. Because otherwise you run into exactly what you just saw there. The blueprint? I don't know the blue... Okay, where did the blue... Didn't the he give me the blueprint? Blueprints shouldn't be an inventory item, either. They should just be inherent and just exist. 
because yeah, here's another problem. Like I, I didn't. Where do I get the blueprint for the furnace? Oh, you buy it from him. Okay, fair enough. But still. This is one of those things that you would leave feedback and say, you know, this is the stuff that frustrated you. This is the stuff that you feel like should be changed. Okay, there it is. I think this... This is unnecessary, just... Either instantly, make it instantly craftable, or it should be, like, three seconds tops. Because this is not an RTS, like, this is acceptable in an RTS. Not in, I guess, what I perceive this game to be, which is, like, akin to Stardew. So can I... Okay, no. I can walk away, so I can do other stuff. But, you know what I mean? Like, this... If someone is trying a game for the first time like this, and trying to get into it, like this is a demo, this is like... <laughs> this is a damper right here. You feel like in this day and age, this kind of stuff shouldn't need feedback? Well, I mean... If this is someone's first game, for example, and they haven't done this kind of stuff before, like, I would say giving the person feedback is useful because they learn a lesson. Um, and maybe UX isn't their strong suit. Um, <laughs> but me playing this game... It kind of feels like I'm just, I'm doing my job at the moment, like, kind of... Looking at something and then being like, yeah, the user's gonna find that frustrating. Yeah, you should probably streamline this. Yeah, just, like, this is what I do. Okay, and then smelt a copper bar, like... This is my day-to-day -day job, is, like, someone makes something and then I'm like, alright, this is... How you make this... Something that is intuitive to use and people won't get frustrated at. Feedback with an invoice? Nah. Alright. See, I was using the wrong tool there and didn't realize it. That's okay. Like, again, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just, I guess, giving my honest reaction here. And I understand it's it's an alpha. Like, very early. Very, very early in development. That's what, like, this is still too long. Craft your house, finally. Okay, so... Your home. A small tent, so I need another bar, more stone. Okay. One more stone. Let's, okay, see. Can I click? No. Okay. If you have to wait there and can't do anything else, it's too long. No, you can. But I guess, like, for the purpose of a tutorial, technically you can't. It's like, yeah, you can walk around, but you can't do anything because this is the tutorial slash demo. There's no magnet system either. Or again, 
early. Just notice that. Not complaining that there isn't one. Like, in the case of this, this is what I have to do, and I can't really do much else at the moment, so... If this is the- if this is how the game is going to start, where... I have to get through this entire process before the real game starts, this is, uh, dragging on. Okay, uh... Okay, another wood... Plank... And because it doesn't accept any kind of wood, now I have to go track down that piece of wood. Which I know is this tree now, but... I'm hoping... yeah. <laughs> Who knows, maybe the developer will watch this and be like, okay, yeah, maybe this is... Because this, I think this is asking a lot for someone. To invest in your game. Okay, I got everything, I got everything. So, you know, this is my main thing. I can't go talk to other people, but... We need... Okay, you'll receive... So this. I mean, there's quests. But for now, I just want to get this done. Okay, and now we have our house. So I guess we can go play somewhere. This seems logical. Uh, what? Why not? What's preventing me from putting it? Not allowed on height. Or is this like... Okay, what's the difference between here and up there? Mm, okay. Sure. Craft a chair and place it. But see, now my crafting bench is, like, all the way over there. And, uh, yeah, it's my own fault. To some degree, but, like... Can I move this stuff? I think it was the hammer, right? And then I go... Yeah. Hit with the hammer, and... Move. Okay, there we go. Just testing. Okay. So really, like, this was the, the area that they should have been telling me to put stuff in. Because this is where the, the house is, like, going to be. There's no other choice, at least not that I could see. Okay, I guess we'll put this here for now. Keep doing that as well, I can escape. Um, okay. Now we're crafting a chair. There's no chair recipe, right? I have to go buy one. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, there. Okay, I need a plank. Alright, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. This time I'll use one of the other pieces of wood. But see, this is what annoys me about this, is... So... You know, these... Unique pieces of wood don't make a unique piece of plank. 
you know what I mean? It's like, you can't use these pieces of wood generically in recipes that involve wood, but they don't create unique items. They just create a standard plank. It's like, they're kind of superfluous. I mean, maybe there's a plan to have unique planks, but right now it's, they just feel like it's just not convenient. Okay, and then place it in here. Okay, craft a table and then place it. Yeah, hang on. Now... Okay, a table. Okay, I can already make it. No, wait, no, I can't. Another flank. I think one piece of pe feedback, and this is like, just as a habit from playing other games, is... Whoa, there's lag. Why is there lag all of a sudden? It's chugging really hard all of a sudden. Why? Um, if I have something open like this... Like hitting escape bring up the men bring up the menu like this it's yeah it should close it but anyway um okay this is now a new problem this has started lagging for some reason like the moment i put that table down it, it's just gone to like four fps okay it's back to normal The blonde has gone for an evening run and can't handle the jiggle. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Hey! Uh. Yeah, I mean, look. I think this, this is like sadly at the point where I'm gonna have to say. I think this is too buggy of a demo. I mean, it's nice to see the direction they're trying to go with that. I think the art style is, you know, the world is nice. But, yeah, I mean... In the interest of, like, getting through the other stuff tonight, I think I have to stop playing this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna like get through this. I think. What What is this anyway? Like redeem, enter code, redeem. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think it need. There's things that need streamlining in this, in my opinion. Um, it is again like you note the sign down the down the side here, right? It's very early, and they're looking for feedback, I guess. So. Don't be too critical, and don't think that I'm- I'm not trying to be negative about the game, just to be clear. I was just reacting honestly, so... I mean, I'll keep an eye open for this one, and see how it goes. Like, maybe... Next time Next Fest is on, they might have... A more, uh... Further on demo, so... I'll keep it in mind, but for now... We're going to move on to the next one, just in the interest of uh, continuing. Okay. I wanted to check out something that was like farming sim related, so... It made the list. 
But hey, the jiggle physics, on point. <laughs> they worked. Okay. I need my controller for this one, so just a sec. Um... Sorry, chat. Alright, I think that's working. Uh, so this one is Cynthia hidden in the moon shadow. Is it picking up my control? Yeah, now it is. Okay, cool. I don't want to hear that sound. <laughs> the loading animation is a T-pose, that's great. Press any button to continue. Again, probably an early access one. Wait, is there control support? Placing in mind this game is in development, so some things may still be unfinished. Even though there might occur some occasional bugs, we hope you'll enjoy the experience we've prepared for you. No, I think this doesn't have control compatibility. Huh? I found something in my pocket. Looks like a small letter. Dear Cynthia, I hope you're having a great time in the land of waterfalls. I would like to invite you to a picnic at sunset. Your Hector. Okay. E to interact, shift to sprint, look around. Oh no, apparently it is control compatible. Okay. Um, it has voice acting, so I, I can get a break. That's nice. Okay. Let's just... What the? I was <laughs> not expecting that. Okay, but like, it says press any button. Oh, but like... so nice of him. Romantic picnic? I'm in. Okay. There we go. It's okay. I just needed to use the mouse to get rid of everything, but now it is control compatible. It's just the menu is a little clunky. But we're okay. They did say up front. Okay. Oh, this place is so adorable. But I have to hurry to get to the picnic. I don't have to read, so that's great. Oh. Oh my god. I need to fix my USB hub. Like, if you hear the unplugging sound, that's just my USB hub going, HEY! I'm gonna unplug stuff and then plug it back in. Even though, like, nothing is moving on your desk. Everything is perfectly stationary. Valley of waterfalls, hunters, and novice wizards. We've never acquired the magic of peoples from other lands. But we made up for it with our stealth and hunting skills. Statue of the first moon shadow goddess. I should stop by and worship her statue to gain her favor. Moon shadow blessing received. My bow. I left it to practice on. Hmm? Okay, I need to get rid of this. Uh, right trigger and then LT Show to me shoot. What you got, girl. Okay. You know, the one thing I miss about the oh, switch is gyro aim. No, it's not enough. We have other targets to do. <laughs> it's never enough. Okay. Oh, the footbridge is held on those ropes. I have to get to the other side. Uh oh. Use a campfire to craft arrows. Campfire. Okay. 
Uh, Aris, yeah, it's the only option. Okay. It's awfully reliant on me not missing. Check sensitivity option now. I think it's fine for now. <laughs> magic bow needs arrows. I mean, maybe the arrow is imbued with magic, not magical arrows. Which, I mean, yeah. It's fine. Whoa! <laughs> Lovely. Hmm. I need to find a way to reach that switch at the center of the lake. Okay. I don't have enough to make it. All right, that's fine. This just makes me want to play Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think this is worth checking out. What? Just for uh, alternatives, right? What? Oh, not allowed to swim. Allergic to water. Got it. What? Just checking. Although magic never showed its full power here, it was enough for a faction of hunters to be considered equal to others and independent. Unfortunately, not everyone agrees with this decision, especially the northern part of the continent. For centuries, there have been disputes, and recently the conflict has been intensified by in Isidore, who, as an en envoy of the Lord of the North, wants to conquer the land of Tessana. Okay, it's just a journal. How do I, how do I leave? Ah, uh, that's the Unknown Chronicle. It does, I'm trying to get back, but it, it, it doesn't let me. Escape? What? How do I close book? Oh, there we go. Jeez. That took too much figuring. Sorry, it's just the camera being weird. Is this enough? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> the jumping is a little floaty. Hmm. 
No arrows, okay. Like, look at that. Parachute skirt. <laughs> yeah. Probably. We've gone from jiggle physics to parachute skirt. if there's any powder in the area. Because it would appear crafting is important to this demo. Oh, you can slide. That's cool. Use dodge at the right moment to avoid an enemy's attack. Okay. Dear goddess, take care of my soul. The eye icon is indicating how invisible I am to enemies. Ooh, that's like Skyrim. Apparently I'm still perfectly visible despite being inside a bush, but okay. Oh no, I see. Okay, I'll button. There we go. Priests of the North. I wonder what they're doing here. I should stay low to not be spotted. If someone put this many obstacles in the way of a picnic, not sure they really wanted you to be there. I think it's not the person we're having a picnic wick with that put these obstacles there. I think it's a case of just in order to get there, we're risking our life a little. Like maybe like a Romeo and Juliet type situation. Like forbidden love or something. I don't know. Oh, they've got, like, this weird arm. Look at that. Huh? Let's see how dumb they are. Oh, no, yeah, no, they're very dumb. <laughs> Just testing how bad the AI is. It's okay, look. I'm not gonna make a comment on that because, like, even AAA games have very dumb AI. Like, I remember in Spider-Man... There was a stealth section. And I was literally... I had my my face. Like, MJ had her face in, like right behind the museum owner. And she still didn't detect me. <laughs> Probably just the wind. Okay. Now I need to find a way to climb up there. Oh, up here? Yeah, I'm not going to touch that because it was so hard to close that book when I opened it the first time. I'm not even sure I closed that. I just button mashed everything on the controller until it closed. I can't drop down from there.
What's this? Oh, my head. <laughs> what the fuck? What's no. Okay. What? What is this place? Hello? Is anybody here? Where am I? It's me with Hector at the tavern. That's when we met for the first time. My memories. I remember that place when I was practicing archery with Uncle Diego. Oh, this is the place where we held each other's hands for the first time. Why am I seeing this? Is this a dream of some kind? Walk into the light. <laughs> I love the loading animation. All right, all right, I have to hit, hold on, not that, there we go, I had to hit a keyboard button, otherwise it doesn't register, oh, that's it, okay, full version in early 2023, hmm, I wonder how, I wonder how old, this demo is. I mean, this seems like a tech demo more than anything else. But it has potential, like if this plays like any adventure game. Yeah. We'll see what this, uh... This has in store for us, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. Well, there's, I don't really have much feedback to say about that one, because that one's like... It seems more like a tech demo, <laughs> as opposed to, like... Showing too much of what the game is about, so... Let me see what the store page has to say about it. It says it's releasing in Q1 2023, which is interesting. That's... That's not that much more time. Eh, I don't know. It depends how old that demo is. Anyway. Let's move on. Okay, this one I know should be more fully fledged because it's been shown off... Uh, where did they show this one? I feel like they showed this one at the Game Awards, if I'm remembering correctly. It's just Google getting my personal information. <laughs> this is just like a, a sting operation by Google to just get data. But no, this one is definitely more full, fully fledged because I, uh, I'm i pretty sure it was shown at the Game Awards as like a coming soon thing, so. Okay. For some reason, it minimized. Uh, that should be... Let me see if control support. It's available. Okay. I mean, that should be fine. So this one is the last case of Benedict Fox. Yep, as always. I am using an Xbox controller <laughs> and headphones, so... Okay. So this one intrigued me. One, it had a cool art style, and the narrative seemed something that I would be into. So I'm checking it out just to see if it might be worth looking into once it's done. But yeah, this one should be a more complete demo. Oh. This is what I've been looking for. Eo six does not err. Did you hear something?
Okay. Already, huh? Press R, B to parry. Okay. Press X to attack. X to perform a heavy attack. Oh, right to dodge, okay. LB to aim. X to shoot. Okay, so let me... Right. That's parry. Parry. Shoot. Move back. And that's attack. Hold the form heavy attack. Okay, I think I got I got the hang of it. All right. Oh, whoops. Okay, I got it. When low on health, all. Miracle Water to heal. Okay. Is this a Souls game? <laughs> like... I didn't realize this, but it, it seems to have flasks. It seems to have parry. I guess we'll see, huh? I think the premise of this is like you're investigating your father's last case. But then some demon here? thing gets involved. Yeah, this. Only anguish fills this residence, Benedict. You're saying there's no one here? Huh? Radio. Torn page. These runes look like the ancient writing of the old ones. This could be a fragment of what I'm seeking. The forgotten ritual. Sure. We're close. Don't let your fright hold you back now. Since I found the first piece, there must be more. Right. This is probably like a puzzle. Mama, don't treat your daughter of me. Mama, don't treat your daughter of me. Mama, don't treat your daughter of me. As the meanest woman of man must ever see. I wonder if this is DMCA. Probably not. Probably old enough to be in the public domain. Draw. Okay. Oh, it's a combination. Locked. Okay, for now, let's just leave it. Wallet. Okay. Smells like a father figure. Oddly enough, it has an Inquisitor's card inside. Might be good. Take the money. Okay, inspect. A key. Take. Okay. 
Okay, well, this is interesting. The, probably didn't have the combination for the draw yet. Hey, confirm me, what's up? Locked. No key for it? Alright. Got much time. I guess I can't go up. Shellac record. Plot twist. Hmm. You're having the world's best breakfast sandwich. What's the world's best breakfast sandwich? Sausage, egg, and cheese on a biscuit. I am a fan of sausage and egg. It's a pretty legit combo. Put a couple of, like, dabs of hot sauce and, yeah. It's good stuff. This must be the woman my father loves. The embers of love are buried beneath the ash. Okay, inspect. I send you my picture, but if you don't like it, I'm sure I don't care. What? Okay. What game? Uh, it's... What's it called? It's called The Last Case of Benedict something. It's something that they showed at, uh... The Game Awards last year. So it's like... It's a detective game, but it also has combat to it. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch? No, I don't think it's Benedict Cumberbatch. Blood? I got a bad feeling about this. I'm supposed to be the one with bad feelings. Pull yourself together, Benedict. Okay. Okay, with symbol used. Oh. So I lost my father before I had a chance to know him. I can sense your despair, Benedict. The cadaver you call your father is so. That voice there. It is so dense and the madness so fierce that I can barely hold on. No sign of a struggle anywhere around him. And yet, he defended himself desperately. But from whom? The trail of blood leads to this lock. Not all is lost yet. I can guide you. Through his memories, Benedict. Oh. Oh, ooh. Oh, this is trippy. One last titty grab for the road on your father. Listen, I was playing a game that looked like Stardew Valley. Well, in the same realm as it. And the portraits, one of them had jiggle physics. So we've had our fill for tonight. The double jump ability has been added when near a ledge or ceiling. Press A again to double jump. This requires amplification, which regenerates. A Kogai pin item has also been added. It can be used to unlock certain doors. You can also use it to slow enemies down by pressing Y with it selected. It regenerates over time. Okay. Oh. What is this supposed to be? Of cons 
concentrated ink formed into a human-like abomination. Oh. It sticks to the mind. Reminds of Metro. Visually, yeah, a little. But I think we're like in the father's subconscious, I guess. It just seems to be this weird dreamscape. I'm down. I mean, when I saw this at um, the Game Awards, like, it did intrigue me. It's just visually, it looked kind of cool. Yeah. What is the device that amplifies our connection doing in my father's memories? No less in the hand of the organization's rat, Benedict. I mean, I'm sure the thing that's missing here is, like, whatever, how the game starts, because I think we've been thrown into this with not the benefit of the uh, start of the game, but, I mean, we can get a feel for how it plays. I'm into it so far. Ah, oh, you... Okay, hang on. Ow. Ah, uh, I forgot to parry. Rip. <laughs> I think it has, like, semi-souls-like mechanic. Limbo entrance. Oh, there we go. So I guess you can pick. I recall dying, and yet I'm not alive. I pulled you from the void. Limbo banished. Ah, uh, you can swap. There we go. I mean, my graphics are glitching a little, but it's okay. Yeah, parry! There we go. the mysterious lady. Oh. This is a waypoint. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess it, it is like a bit like a Metroid game now looking at it. Interesting. Detective Metroid, I guess. Locked. Locked. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what we're gonna call him, huh? Seems to adhere to everything. Your father's ego. Benedict. Benedict. Oh, yep, there's... If that doesn't remind you of Metroid, I don't know what does. It's not as fluid, but yeah, it's, it's there. It is there. Souls like Metroidvania with Benedict Cumberbatch seems like a winning combination. I think, yeah, like... This has intrigued me. Oh my god. 
this has intrigued me enough already. Uh, a... Wait, hang on, what is it? It's like... I need to go... A-X-A-Y. Oh yeah, no, I have to be really quick. There we go. <laughs> Are we in his colon? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. If we're finding a tarot card, I guess we should be near his colon because that's where shit is. See? Tarot card. I can make jokes. I didn't get the impression he was the astrologer. It's not his, but it reminds him of someone silly and naive. It's annoyingly warm. What do you mean it's annoyingly warm? If you ask me. Okay. The hangman. Oh, that sound. Okay. I mean, I like the ambience of this. Nice. I mean, if I'm gonna check this out, like, let's say I do want to get this, it'll probably be on console. I'll probably get it on PS5, because it'll probably play better. Assuming it's on it. Why is she so gigantic? Uncomfortable, even for me. Oh crap. Well, that was just unfortunate. Maybe I'm just short, I, I guess. Like, Danny DeVito sized. Who else is a short person? Locked. Oh, no. Okay, can't go through there. So here's the Metroidvania aspect. But I guess that's, yeah, wipe. We got a waypoint now. Refill items. Okay. See this game being frustrating without a map. Well, about that. Does that, uh, does that ease the concern? <laughs> and it has fast travel, which I just did, so there you go. As long as you're at a gate.
that's the nice thing about 3DS Metro, you can always see the map. Yeah, I mean, that's a classic staple of, like, Castlevania and Metroid games, is top right corner. You're supposed to have a map. I wonder if there's an option for that in this. Show settings. Auto hide HUD. Font size, combat, puzzles, exploration, balance. Doesn't look like it has an option for a map. Okay. Just curious. Oh, this looks like a ritual room. Okay. Guess we're doing this. Was the map always on on Dread? I don't remember. That was like a while back. I would be surprised if it wasn't. I'd have to double check. Okay, that does nothing. Oof. Oh, okay. I have to heal. Yep. I guess we're here. Consumables, notes. There doesn't appear to be much else. Alright. I guess we're continuing this way. Wait, was there anything here? Not locked. Carve symbol. Of the symbols on the keys, but more complicated. Still no clue what to do with them. Okay, nothing here. I mean, it's, it's like an ang anglerfish, but only with a tentacle. I'm gonna wait for it to like. I hope that's doing damage. There's no real, like, health indicator here. I guess I just have to keep going until it doesn't move anymore. Oh, shockwave. Ouch. Oh boy. Damn it. Oh no. I was gonna pay daily for that one. Thank you. 
A what? <laughs> oh. oh shit. <laughs> Not good. Okay. I mean, this is definitely like a Souls combat. Oh, that's a, that's a demo. <laughs> I died twice. Oh, yeah, Benedict Fox is the name. But I guess it's going to be forever Benedict Cumberbatch. It seems interesting. I mean, I think with a proper introduction to the story, they'll probably fall into place a bit better. Like, we're kind of dropped into a scenario here, so... But, yeah, seemed cool. Okay. I think this is the last one I have, yeah. Okay, this is the last demo I have. Oh, this has been fun. Okay. I'm not sure I need the controller for this one, but we'll see. I think so far the ones that I played yesterday are like the winners in terms of the ones that I've enjoyed the most. So far. Okay, so this one is called Sons of Valhalla. Um... You are a good fighter, that's it. You already have built houses, maybe even inside cities. Don't rely on luck. I mean, no. You are a pretty inexperienced warrior. Yeah, let's just start that. Hello, brother. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. I hear you're doing well in father's footsteps. I'm sorry I left in such a hurry. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, but that just reminds me of the grandfather at the start of Stardew Valley. Like, man. It wasn't there, and I couldn't protect her. This is Viking Stardew. Bad dreams. Cool pixel art, though. See our village in flames and Valgar taking her away. Fisherman told me he left for England and that he took many slaves with him. She must be among them. I just feel that she is still alive. Brother, we leave today. You won't hear from me for a while. I will find Valgard. He will pay for what he did to father and the people of our village. He will pay for every life he took with pain and suffering. I promise you. Soros. Soros, wake up. Where? Where am I? Oh, I have to interact now. You are an Asgard, Thorold Olofsson. The realm of the Aesir. My name is Odin, Allfather, and ruler of Asgard. Perhaps you have heard of me. That's a bit of a Sean Connery thing going there. That, yes, I have, Allfather. But how did I get here? Does this mean that death has come to me? Indeed. However, your time has not yet come. You have one more task to complete. Rhea, I have to go to her. She needs my help. It is your destiny to save her. I will support you in this. You will find runes on your journey. They will bless you with abilities or improve those you already have. If you will allow me to ask a question, why are you helping me? Well, some guards think mortals are of no use or value, and that to help would be a waste of time. But I believe you can achieve great things, and possibly even save worlds, those of men, and those of the gods. 
If you fall in battle, I will give you another chance. Valhalla will remain denied to you until you have fulfilled your destiny. But every death requires a sacrifice. So, for each new chance, you must give up a rune you've collected, so everything stays balanced. However, since you have always chosen the easy path in life, I will be lenient with you and not require a runic sacrifice from you. <laughs> Alright, so I picked the, heart, the easy path. Here, this is one of the runes. Take it and attach it to your belt. Uh, okay. Sound of the arrows will do more damage. Good. You will find many runes on your journey. Unfortunately, you can only wear as many runes as will fit on the belt. Therefore, keep only the best ones. To be able to wear more runes, you can add more sockets to your belt. You will also find these sockets on your journey. Here, I'll give you one. Take it and take a look at your belt. Then, use it to make a socket available. <laughs> Just... Okay, unlocks. Very good. Now you are ready. The Bifrost on your left will bring you back. Good luck. Damn. That way? By the gods, my eyes must be playing tricks on me. Thor, Why am I... Did you what? Fall from the sky? I'm on one health now. What? What happened? Where is the crew? Well, this is intentional. Can't you remember? Our ship has sunk, our men, they're all dead. So it was just the two of us who survived? Regrettably. I have already sent a message to Lunderbreck to send us more men and new supplies as soon as possible. You still look a little weakened. Yeah, I'll say. Some meat. This will get you back on your feet. The meat is in your backpack. Eat it to restore your health. Uh, B. No, C. You already look better. Now, show me if you can fight again. Go ahead and attack me with a light punch. Not bad. That's not really a punch, that's a sword. Hit me with a double attack. Right, double attack, hold until it flashes. Very good. Okay. Take your bow and shoot me. F. Exactly the same. And now, try to withstand my attack. Right click. Very good. And what about your agility? Try to dodge me. Space bar, I assume. Yeah. Now you're pretty out of breath, aren't you? Your stamina will return with time, but I've just the thing for you to speed up your recovery. Mead, the potion of the gods. Some warriors believe that you can't fight with mead in your blood. What a foolish delusion. The mead is in your backpack. Drink. It will help you catch your breath right away. I see you've not forgotten anything I've taught you. Thank you, old friend. Follow me. I found a place. <laughs> no other maid, yeah. Ah, I see you've woken up, have you? Or whatever the fuck that dude says in Skyrim. Ah, finally awake, are you? Quick, stand next to the campfire to conquer our new camp. Quick, stand next to the campfire to... Damn. The one behind me is the Mead Hall, the center of your city. Here you can upgrade some of your equipment for hack silver and gold coins. You can also upgrade the Mead Hall to expand your city and get more building sites. To the right of the Mead Hall is the supply warehouse. Here you can restock your equipment. Try it out. Okay. Good work. Now we need some food for our warriors. 
make yourself useful and build a fishing hut at one of the material piles. I'll take care of the mooring. The men who will be arriving soon will appreciate your work. Interesting hut. Huh? Okay. Good. Now we need a barracks where our men can train and become handsome. What does this remind me of? Build a barracks on the other pile of There's a game I've played that's very similar to this. Barracks. It's two crowns, isn't it? I think that's what it's called. Men should be arriving soon as well. Or two kingdoms. It's two something. Ah, men. There you are. Thorald, give the men something to do before they take root here. Command the men to follow you. Okay, uh, follow, follow me. me. Good. Now give the order to retreat so they protect our gate. Retreat! That's it. You are indeed a born leader. I will help you from time to time. Go now. Your men want to be led into battle. Okay. Follow me. I dig the art style of this. Oh, this is not good. Retreat. Well, this is off to an amazing start. No problem, I just have like three gigantic spears in my skull. You know, it, it's fine. Nothing, nothing to see here. No, no permanent brain damage here. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> this is my crown, for I am the king. <laughs> okay, they're gone now. Okay, we've, we've done it. Oh no, don't help me out or anything. That's cool. I'll just keep slashing away. I am persistent. Blood rush. Every sword thrust has a chance of inflicting bleeding. Add. Okay. Wait, I forgot I had this. Ah. Yeah, this is not good. Retreat! Okay, I got it.
Hey, what's this? It's sparkly, but I can't get it. Retreat! Follow me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Boo. I couldn't cut it. Okay, we're gonna take this this time. Attack. Ah. There we go. Oh, they're taking that. This is ours now. Is this chicken ours now? I claim this chicken. Well done. You've taken our first outpost. Outposts offer useful functions, such as trading resources or buying merchants. Uh, our men are attacking. If you want to rebuild destroyed towers or gates, simply walk to the position of the destroyed building. Okay. Uh, rebuild. Okay, they're repairing it. Rebuilt. Trade 10 food with this location. Oh, um, I got a lot of food, so no. Be sure to use your double attack. I spent all that time destroying it. Yeah, but now it's it's I'm fortifying it. What is going on over here? Like, now it's part of our base, so we have to fix it. Yeah, don't mind me, I just have an arrow in my esophagus. It's fine. They can upgrade it. Okay. That's cool. I can upgrade buildings. Restock equipment. Remember to upgrade your buildings. This is possible once per city level. Right. Okay. Build. I uh, say so you can do more. Archery range, blacksmith, we need a smithy. Okay. We'll do that. Because we have barracks. I don't think we have a smithy yet. Okay, you guys can stay there. Oh, wow, they've already, like, burnt. Okay. Ooh, that... Yeah, okay. Oh, the, they be pissed. Attack! What? Okay, we're okay. Retreat. I mean, admittedly, I'm I'm not helping my cause here, but 
Dude, you're getting hurt. Legolas. Oh no, I'm out of uh I'm out of arrows. Or it's an energy, I don't know. This is so annoying that USB hub. Headshot. The RS seems to have three charges. Oh, yeah. That's what that icon's for. Okay, that makes sense. They seem to be very overpowered compared to these. I'm blessed by the gods. I guess that's true. I do have Erden's blessing. I just keep lining up to die. How many men do they have? I'm single-handedly taking this out. I don't seem to be making much headway here. Fuck's sake, this hard drive. Alright, I'm gonna look into this after the stream. I think one of them in particular is acting up. Sorry, chat. <laughs> like, I'm not even doing anything. It's just the USB hub is just acting up. Okay. Uh, hit points, armor, attack speed. Train a swordsman. Okay, I see. That's how it works. Okay, we're gonna build a blacksmith here. I don't have the wood. Woodcutter's yard, that's all we need. Upgrade it. The max resources seem really low. Yeah. There is storage. Oh, there you go. There's a storage option. Aha. Okay, there we go. What am I missing? Mate, zero out of nine, zero. Oh, I see. Upgrade building. Okay. It's fine. 
So there's like little upgrades you can do, but see, I've upped the storage on wood now. Upgrade that to 200. Yeah, there we go. I guess maybe I should spend time upgrading my base. Train a swordsman. Follow me. I'll put him on this base here. Ooh. Sturdy gates. Alright, cool. Let's repair this. Yeah, so I, I guess I can see it. Retreat. So, you know, they're, they're gonna keep coming. Is it. Can I build anything else here? Like. Another defense structure. And the watchtower. The watchtower is unlocked. Okay, nothing to Don't repair. Don't forget to use your ranged weapons. Inflicting damage to the opponent from a distance is very effective. Guess I'll be back. Blacksmith. Follow me. This is interesting. I definitely see myself like losing a few hours in this game. Also looks pretty nice. Okay. Retreat! All right, you can stay there. I'm gonna train like a bunch of them, and we're gonna storm the building. Arrow. Top. Pot covers the enemy. Ooh, javelin. It's locked. Okay. But it's working on it now. Upgrade building. Oh, let's upgrade the building. Upgrade the building. It's gonna take a while to make that. Let's so see, we can increase the hit points. Armor. Attack speed. Block chance. Uh, production speed of that. All right. I'm going to upgrade the storage capacity for this. Just wait to get 50 wood and get the production speed up again. But we will take the army and go march. Uh, 
I think block chance is decent. Alright, this should be enough soldiers, hopefully. Let's go. Alright, men. Follow me. <laughs> hopefully these ones have been able to hold the position. Okay, our gate is destroyed. But men have held. Okay, you guys will remain, but the rest of us, we are going to strike. Alright, everyone, let's go. We got this, we got this, we got this. We got this, men. Do not yield. How do they keep having so many soldiers? Like, holy crap. Alright, but their archers have fallen back. It's nearly down. They're still going. They're still going. Don't retreat. You guys have got this. You guys have got this. Well, they're like fully going to town on this town. <laughs> Holy crap. Are we capturing? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got it. Yes! This is ours now. You've captured your first city. You can now use our ships to travel between our cities. Go to the sign with the anchor icon and use fast travel. It's located near the Mead Hall. Units following you will also be transported. I think they just kept going on a rampage. No, they're here. Alright, um... Alright, you guys will retreat. Okay, restock equipment. Okay. Um. So, man, I think what I always need to do is like. To upgrade your building. Yes, yes, yes. Like, make sure we take care of food, but also, I'm gonna have like archery range this time. Siege workshop. Your unit's arrows will do more damage, okay. Yeah, I mean, this seems interesting. Okay, uh... Don't have enough to upgrade it. I would imagine this starts getting more complex, you know?
Okay, we got archers now. Time to throw him into the tower. I think all this demo is, is demo is doing is like getting through these next chapters. Can I queue training? Good question. Be sure to use your doublet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. You can indeed. Okay, I need a new one of these now. Okay, now my resources are, are being spent. Making just making an army now. Attack speed, range. Definitely want more range on them. This army. <laughs> oh, there's a barrel there. Needs a lot more, I guess. All right. I mean, I think this is a good enough army. Maybe. Follow me. Follow me. Ooh. Melee fighters will gain more health. The attack range of your range fighters will increase at night. Okay. Alright. We go to war. Oh, this is like already dilapidated. But now we have archers to support us. Should be easier to capture. I'll leave that for now. Jeez, that was quick. Who are they attacking? Where's the socket? Whoops. Okay, the sage is coming anyway.
I probably shouldn't destroy the tower. Okay. Don't forget to use your. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, fix. Fix. Not a whole lot of my uh, soldiers survived. I can leave that alone. All right, I gotta raise an army now. Follow me. Okay. Five archers. Wait, I can't make more swordsmen. Why not? One. Oh, I already have a population of 25, apparently. Okay, now we can do more units. Apparently, it, those units dying. <laughs> you can see the number going down, so I'm being attacked at the moment. I need to hurry up. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go back. Oh, that's annoying. Follow me. Alright, men. Follow me. Follow me. It's a little annoying. Where are they? How dare you attack my men? Get back here. Seem to be too weak. They need They're not weak at all. Lies. By the gods, Thorold Olafsson. Our paths cross once again. So tell me, what brings you to beautiful England? We're in England? Save your breath. You know why I'm here. You kidnapped my wife and murdered my father. I can see you are vindictive. Your anger probably leaves no room for a greeting among men of honor. Huh. You are not a man of honor. I ask you again, where is she? I must confess. I don't know. My job was to deliver her, and I did. I don't care what happened to her after that. Deliver? Who did you hand her over to? <laughs> the answer would seal my death. Bear with me that I care about something in my life. Wait! You can tell because- oh my god! That hurt? Jeez. The sage weapons drive on the left. Oh my god. I know, this is... Yep, I might very well be too weak for this. Our trusted advisor may be correct on this one. Okay, uh, 
uh, retreat for now. Hold here. I'm going back. But they're following me. No, 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 no. We need you to defend. Don't fall back. They fell, they fell back to the next gate, which is not what we want. Fuck's sake, this is annoying. Follow me. Come on. <laughs> Our sage is not doing well here. Retreat. Cool. Okay. Now I'll be back. There's no fast travel to this one, unfortunately. Now I just have to trust that they're not going to... ...do anything horrible. Going back to the barracks. Now we have more soldiers. Upgrade them in every regard. I'm just doing swordsman, no shielded swordsman. <laughs> just gonna go slam on that door as hard as we can. We're out of fish, but okay. Shut up! <laughs> I know. Okay. Follow me. We're heading off, men. This will be a glorious battle. Wait, didn't they follow me? Did they not come with me? To use your yes! Jeez! Oh, here they are. Okay. <laughs> It'd be fine if they were giving me new information, but they're just repeating stuff they've already said multiple times. I get it. Okay. Yeah, that seems very useful. 
this one. A healing rune seems very useful. Here comes the army! Alright. Men. To war. Follow me. Follow me. Attack. Attack. Oh my god, those arrows are like messing us up something fierce. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. Victory is nearly ours! Holy crap. Look at the pillaging. That's alright, we don't want them to build any more weapons. Prioritize. Oh, what's this? Enter. Okay, hang on. have heels. This is interesting. But I don't know how much health you have. I can't slash. There's no jump either. Oh, that's just an that's just annoying. I'm gonna die. I'm knocked down, I can't get back up. Ugh. But see I had no frame of reference for like how much health he had left. Ah, uh, so we meet again, Thorold Olofsson. But what do I see? You have no more runes. You have fought well so far, so I want to give you another chance. Do not disappoint me. The Bifrost will bring you back. Yeah. I think we got the gist of the demo. <laughs> it's pretty cool. What is over this side? Just would appear nothing. It's not bad. I thought this was, uh, yeah, pretty fun overall, but I mean, it's just the fight at the end. I think we're okay with that. I'd have to raise the army, and that would probably take a while. Okay, uh, that covers all the games I downloaded for Next Fest, so it's pretty fun. I, I definitely found a couple that I'm going to keep an eye on. And some that, uh, yeah, have convinced me that I definitely want them when they come out. So hopefully you found something that interests you amongst all the stuff that I checked out. But yeah, this is always fun to do. I enjoyed it last year and this year was uh, no exception. Imagine having all those men and deciding one-on-one -on -one combat. I mean, it's for honor. Like, it's a whole pride thing, right? But yeah, I mean, if it, were, if it were me, I would have been like, come on, men, we stormed the building right now. But I guess that's uh, that's not dramatic enough, right? Anyway, uh, 
that's gonna do it for the stream tonight, chat. I've had a pretty long day, so I'm gonna call it here. But I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, yeah, the demos. So uh, tomorrow I'll continue Oracle of uh, Ages, and we'll do Animal Crossing for sure. So that'll be the plan for tomorrow. And as usual, if you wanna watch my stuff whilst I'm away. YouTube's the place to go. So just search for the channel name. You'll see past streams, highlights, and all that other stuff. So hope you do check it out. I think the Binding of Isaac VODs have started also publishing. So if you're into that, that's available now for viewing. But yeah, uh, I'm going to just go chill before I get some sleep. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. And if you clicked this on YouTube later, thanks for watching.